The reason why I didn't upload a vlog in the past week is because it was raining cats and dogs out here in Kalimpong and well, because of which I couldn't go anywhere else. And also it's been quite a long time since I last went for a swim. So today's vlog is gonna be about me heading for a good swim along with my brothers from Flex Fitness which exists no more. <laughs> Basically my buddies from the previous gym and the current gym as well. Do I make sense? If not then, we used to go to a gym, it got shut down. Then all of us went to a different gym together. So, do I make sense now? Yes, I do. And also, do you see changes in your brother? Bro... There are a lot of changes happening in my life. Which I'm probably gonna tell you one year from now. So, don't be in a hurry because hurry and worry spoils the curry. Good morning and Namaste. This is Ornitesh Bhai once again. Yes. All right. Sadly, my dear friend Mr. Dahomey won't be able to join us today, but he'll probably in the coming future. Yeah. Another person joining, Mr. Munal Tamang, our dear trainer. Hello. Let's go, bro. We are supposed to eat at Four Seasons, that's owned by my mama and my dude and the rest of his family. Four Once seasons. again, Four Seasons is basically a homestay where me and Mama Udyan had a mini vacation. Okay, okay. The previous vlog yet was great. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one. Also, we've been waiting for Bikida out here in this particular place since the past 15 minutes or so. And when we called him up, he said he's on his way. But then we called him up once again after a couple of minutes, he said he's on his way. So basically, according to Nidesh Bhai, this is what Bikita does. Hi Bhai, Bikita daily money, right? Every time, every time. Every single time. There comes our main culprit, the man who made us wait here for half an hour. Bikita. Slowly, steadily. Biralu thal na indega, run de. Sikar karna atego tego. Where is Bikita? It's one o'clock in the afternoon and we had stopped out here in Dista Bazaar to grab some fish for lunch. That's right, my Maiju is gonna cook fish curry for us today for lunch. Now we are heading straight towards Mang Maya and the time right now, it's already past 1 o'clock. Yeah, we are pretty late bro. So we finally made it to the Four Seasons homestay that is owned by my mama, Maiju once again. And now we are heading towards another homestay where a swimming pool is located. So first we are going to check whether the water out there is clean or not. If the water is pretty dirty out there, then probably we will be heading straight towards Orange Villa. Because if I'm not wrong, the water out there in the pool of Orange Villa gets replaced every three days. So, yeah, you get clean water basically. So, once again, I've reached Orange Villa out here in Bada Mangwa, and that is my Nana, Monika Nana, out here. Now we'll be heading straight towards the pool, and I can't even express the feeling that I'm feeling from inside right now because my friends are busy clicking pictures and I desperately want to head inside the pool. The reason why we didn't enter the pool situated below is because there were like too many people, literally so many people are out there and that is the entire reason why I just didn't want to visit any swimming pool out there in Kalimong. Itaza mera nana, itaza mera saathiru. Munal, Nidesh bhai, nda, bikida. Why I didn't want to enter the swimming pool of Kalimpong? It's because it's very crowded and if I enter a crowded pool out here after coming to Mangwaya then what's the point, right? So yeah. And Orange Villa, it's just not a homestay but it's an entire farm. You can visit out here. If you are watching from elsewhere, if you want to experience the real countryside of Darjeeling then you can definitely visit this particular place. It's beautiful. The reason why I came to this particular pool is because of this. It's basically like my private pool right now. It's a private pool for the afternoon, right? It's empty. It's totally empty. How do you feel, bro? This guy intends to learn swimming, but I'm pretty sure this guy knows how to swim. Hi. Now, let's get changed. What? I'm not going to show you.
very fun day courtesy of our ex flex boys and the proactive boys of today now what we are going to do is as it's already 4:30 in the evening we are going to head straight towards four seasons homestay where we are going to eat delicious lunch that my maiju has cooked for the four of us and also you'll be meeting my dear cousin sister the little girl who had badly roasted me in my minification vlog remember right if you haven't then i'll put the link of the vlog in my description box make sure you watch that vlog as well after you finish watching this one small fact about me basically my family used to be in the business of orange plantation as well but right now we aren't end of the story and once again bigida it's really sad because bigida didn't join us in the pool but <laughs> probably the next time he's gonna right the next time next time sure right na la hai who is she who is she once again who is she ab aata kai ke ra usko bata pore on the lady she did learn a bit of swimming not bit Yeah, a bit, bro. Don't embarrass me, bro. I'm not embarrassing you, bro. You learned a bit, and that's a very good thing. At least you learned something. If you swim for another month or so, at least four or five times in a month, you're gonna be a swimmer. Not a professional one, but a desi or local one, bro. At least like me. It's just been two months, bro, since I learned swimming. So I know you're gonna do it. No, this guy looks more of a swimmer than me, right? How ironic. people with younger sister or a daughter can relate to this right now ye thoda sa now what she is telling me is if i decide to head back kalimpong today then she is going to apply lipstick on my lips and <laughs> this hairband is already here right and she is going to click some pictures of mine and then she is going to post them on instagram Black male. No, oh, she's basically blackmailing me. This is what happens if you have a daughter or a sister, younger sister. This small one. Her height is basically this much, right? You're this I'm much. I'm taller than you. You're this much. I'm taller than you. Hello. So basically, we had a very <laughs> delicious lunch courtesy of our Maiju out here at Four Seasons, and now we'll be heading back to Kalimpong in a while. But before that. We are probably going to go towards the um, viewpoint area out there in Peshuk and maybe click a few more pictures out there. Yeah, this week was kind of productive. It was kind of fun. Not kind of. It was like have a fun, bro. He's he's so 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 naughty and he's girl. Yeah, he's girl. She's that kind. Of, yeah, she's girl. She's girl. That, that is the English that you are taught. At Saint George's Convent, Kalimpong, right? She's girl. She's girl. Mm, that is the kind of English that you are taught at Saint George's Convent, Kalimpong. I have to cut here this. Yeah, yeah, you have one of them, I think. And exactly. I will cut here. Hey. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Any, anything else? Yes, I will cut here. Hey, eyes, eyebrows, all things. Very good. Let's go, bro. Let's go. She's gonna kill me. Happens when you have a sister. Or a daughter, a sister this size, or a daughter. Artist one. The art and the artist. <laughs> so pretty interesting day comes to an end out here. Wow. Well, Just look at the view, bro. Yes. That's Triveni out there, and right now we are at Lovers Point viewpoint, Peshok. So this was entirely about my today's vlog. I really hope that you folks enjoyed. And until next time, this is your brother, the vlog from the hills, Priyam Guru, and I will see you very, very soon. Till then, take care, bye bye, and cheers to life. Thank you so much. I had a ton of fun today. Ciao.